So in this video, I wanted to do a quick how-to on how you fix a multi-pen pencil component or how you refill a multi-pen pencil component. These are questions I get asked a lot, and I did a quick article on unsharpen.com about it, but I wanted to have a follow-up video as well, just because this seems to confuse a lot of people, and it's not immediately clear when you buy the pencil. So here is a typical multi-pen. This is a Uniball Jetstream 3N1. It's a, it's a pretty good example of how pretty much any multi-pen is going to function, at least a, like a reputable one. So what we'll do right now is we will take anything sticking out, we'll put it back so nothing is exposed. We will take off the front and we'll see what's going on in here. This pencil or this uh, pen is called a 4, a 3N1, which means it has three pens and then your mechanical pencil component here. So what you're going to do if this piece is broken or empty is uh, you could push it out and you could see this little collar right here and then a metal shaft. It could be plastic, but it's usually metal. What you're going to do is hold the bottom section, hold the pencil and give this a pull. It's going to require a little bit of pressure but eventually it will come out and it will separate out at where this sleeve connects with the uh, metal shaft there. I had some lead in there, so lead's gonna fall out and we'll be left with this right here. And this is called the mechanical pencil component. Uh, I could have pulled this lead out beforehand, uh, but it's not that easy if it's not sticking out, so I pulled, I left it in and it's, it's fine. You might break it, but if you're careful, you won't. So this right here is called the mechanical pencil unit or the mechanical pencil component or the lead holder. Every brand calls it something slightly different, but it's a pretty standard part. So even though this is a uh, you know Uni Mitsubishi or Uniball, whatever you wanna call it, this part will probably work with most other mechanical pencil pencil brands, at least the Japanese ones. So a Zebra, uh, for instance. Lamy and other companies, uh, like the German companies mainly, but most European companies will have a slightly different component. Some will work universally. Some, the, uh, the diameter of this shaft will be a little bit off. And that's because this, I guess not the, the shaft, but this sleeve right here is a friction fit. So it may be off by a hair and it may not be compatible, but generally speaking, you can exchange them. So if this piece is broken, you can throw this out and replace it with a piece from another multi-pen, or you could buy one. Usually they sell for like between six and $10, give or take. If you could, some of the specialty ones are like 15, if you have a more expensive pencil, but you don't necessarily need to buy the specific one, which you can test it and see if it works in a different brand. Uh, if it's broken and you want to fix it, it's it's a challenge because the parts are very tiny, as you can see, and the uh, they're very precise. So there's not a lot you could do to take this apart. It's not uh, some will unscrew, most won't, and uh, the spring in there is a very fiddly. It's it's hard. Usually, uh, you're either going to want to replace it or uh, just say, hey, my multi pen is not going to have a pencil anymore. And that's just a little bit unfortunate, but you're not going to put a uh, part that sells for like six or $7 on its own into like a $5 multi-pen. So to fix this up, you, uh, or to get it working again, you just put your lead in there really carefully and you slide it on and you push it until it kind of stops. You'll know because you'll get from an area where you could feel the friction fit going and then you'll stop feeling that friction. And now you're ready to go. Put everything back to normal. Extend the different components. They work as you expect. And then you can see, you can click the pencil as you normally would. Okay, so say your pencil component's not broken, but it's out of lead. And we could simulate that very easily. We'll pull this piece out. And now I have an empty mechanical pencil unit in my multi-pen. 
what do I do? The process, as you probably have guessed, is basically the same as before, except you're not going to replace the multi pen, the multi uh, pens pencil unit. Just unscrew it, or actually make sure nothing's out. Unscrew it, extend the mechanical pencil component, hold the, uh, you usually wanna hold this shaft here, but it's up to you, give it a good pull. Now we have the shaft, which is basically the lead holder, and then you have the mechanical pencil unit. Here we have our lead, and the easiest thing to do is you'll be tempted to put the lead in here where it's gonna go eventually. It's actually easier if you just put it in this way and hold the pencil upside down. This will actually protect the lead from uh, any errant movements you might make. Which this process is not generally super easy. So we just put it in upside down. Now the lead is in the sleeve, it's protected. And now we have the mechanical pencil component here. And you will grab it again by that top shaft, push it, and you'll feel it slide in, and then it'll stop sliding. At this point, the spring will work and everything is fine, just like it used to be. I wanna be careful not to bend this. It has a little bit of play, but don't, don't bend it too far. It will not bode well for the pencil. Now we put this on and check, make sure this works as expected. It's a little bit jammed, so I will go back and see what happened here okay let's try that again and we're good to go so basically i just forgot to put these all back in their resting position everything's good nice springing back and now the true test will extend the pencil component and see if some lead pushes we'll have to get the lead in place and we're good to go so broke it so this is a working mechanical pencil unit that's been fully refilled or replaced depending on what your needs are if you do replace it you're gonna have to shop around and find the right one for your pencil but usually the easiest thing to do will find a mechanical pencil from the same brand and grab it from that because not every company sells replacement parts you know, the Roach Rings and the Lamis and those guys, they definitely do sell replacement parts. Uh, but for a Uniball, Zebra, things like that, you're probably gonna have to harvest one from another pen or pencil, uh, sorry, another multi-pen. But the good news is, is that they're pretty universal. So that should cover it. Thanks for watching.